What is up guys, Intensigui here coming at you with level 3's escalation of the Mills Reverie, which is Hitman's new Halloween escalation, which was uh, came out today. Uh, so we've already done levels 1 and 2, if you missed those make sure to check out my other two videos, they will have those, we will have those two already loaded in. And without further ado, <clears throat> I would recommend uh, you can do really any type of gun that you want. I would recommend doing a lock pick. Uh, just in case you need to get inside the house, I also recommend using coins. And I think the only place you can set up is, is in the bed. And let's get started. It's me. Hearing something odd. I'm gonna take a better look. Maximilian? So be very careful with that specific guard because for some reason it will not let me subdue him. Every time I get behind him properly, it never lets me. So just just be just be wary of that. As you can see, there are 24 guards. Uh, I probably will not try to knock all of them out because I do have the uh, Krugermeyer 2-2, which does uh, keep things very quiet. I'm probably going to use that on some of these guards, whereas I'll knock others out. Uh, there won't be any rhyme or reason to it, per se, so uh, I feel like uh, however you can, however you can knock out these these uh, guards is kind of really at your discretion. Uh, if you watched level two, uh, it appears as if the bat is in the exact, exact same place, so that should not be an issue. We're gonna go ahead and get the guards that are out here on the outskirts so that we don't have to worry about them anymore.
For some of these, I'm not really necessarily worried about their guns if they're this far out, but, you know, to keep things consistent, I will hide the guard and their gun so that we can ensure that, you know, we, we don't mess up the mission at all. As I said earlier, I'm, there's really not going to be a rhyme or reason to it. If you are interested in getting five stars on this mission, then I would recommend... Uh, being patient, but because if I'm patient, this video would last a tremendous amount longer. We are going to knock out some, and then others we will uh, just eliminate via pistol. I do kind of want to go ahead and get all the guards taken care of, or at least, obviously, at least half of them. Uh, I think I'm coming up on, yeah, I have just under a half right now. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and get them all taken care of so that we can focus solely on Orson in the end. We'll see if we can maintain that. Uh, if we can, it's not the end of the world, but we'll see what we can do. Because most of the guards are outside. And again, if you did watch the previous videos, make sure not to rely on the small pumpkins to actually knock out your opponents or knock out the guards. They will not. They will stun them. They will not knock them. We're going to go ahead and hit Orson here, because he should go ahead and disappear. Yep, so as you see, he goes to the roof. 
which is what he did in the level two. So we're going to go ahead and do that just so we can go ahead and get him out of the way and we'll go ahead and finish up with these guards that are on the lower level. So at 15, it appears as if we have gotten all of the guards in this area. Looks like that there is actually one more down here, potentially directly in front of us. Or two more, I'm sorry. And then we should be able to go inside and finish off the rest of the guards. There are only nine left at this point, so just keep that in mind. Because that was the last guard on the beach, I probably won't try to hide him because he is so far away. So we're going to go ahead and start focusing. Uh, we probably will go ahead and work our way up the house. We're going to go in through the garage using our lockpick. And then we're kind of going to just take it by ear, see how we feel. Uh, most of the guards are on the outside. So we'll go ahead and focus on them one by one. We're going to wait for these two guys to uh, quit chit-chatting. One of the guards will actually walk by this door and walk in this direction. So we'll go ahead and wait for him to do that, and we'll take them out one at a time. Attacker on 
The better route to have taken would have been to walk behind the house like that, but I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna wait for this next guy to come out or to come this way. Maybe while we do that, we'll go ahead and get the guy that's right here on the ground level with us. So we could see his angle of where he was standing. He's actually facing us from this angle, so we'll have to take a different trajectory, but that, that'll be okay. Wrong door. I will say, I am enjoying the addition of the meaty bone. Um, you know, it's a quieter thing to throw, but it, it really gets the job done for sure. Uh, but I would recommend just having on, on you at all times anything that you can use to put someone to sleep. It will work. Okay, so we have the guy on the roof. This guy, we only have four guards left. I believe that there's two on the roof, actually. Yeah, there's two right there. We have this one right here. So where is our last guard? One. One. Two. Three and four. So we're actually going to try and send this guy uh -huh. over in this direction. Just for the fact that he will get out of this way. Oh, cool. So we did that because of the fact that we wanted to get away from the upper level being able to look down on us and see us knocking him out. So now we're going to go to the second floor, which we will, uh, he is on the outside, we'll put him to sleep, and then there's two guards up top that are pretty easy to put to sleep, and then we'll handle uh, the next phase of pushing Orson off the roof. So we're actually going to, he should come right in front of us, we're going to try and knock him out on the side so that none of them see us, because obviously he is right there. And we don't want to cause any more alarms than we already have. Come 
I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving into investigating. This is going to be really fascinating if he ends up coming off the roof to investigate this noise. Because we'll, then we'll pivot and we'll go outside and meet him. And at this point, we'll just leave them there because then there's only one more guard that's up top and we'll go ahead and knock him out. Right. So let's com continue with the level. So we just drop him here, and once he's sacrificed, let's see where he is now. He ends up, it appears as if he ends up potentially on where we started. He ends up... Does he even notice that we're here? He does not. We eliminate him. And let's bring him into the closet. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes level three of the escalation. Quite a fascinating escalation, if I do say so myself. I find it really fascinating that this escalation was not focused on killing, but was focused on complete not killing. Uh, so, nice. All right, and mission accomplished. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Intense Eagle here, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.